You guys look my life got me these these little guys. Oh you can't see it. You can't see it. You can kinda see it. It's the whole family, bro. It's the whole family and they go on your fingers. Look at that bro. It's so freaking cute. Oh there's also this one too. Comment down below if you guys know the names to everyone. Alright? Comment down below. I'll I'll pin I'll pin the top comment. Whoever gets it first, the whole family. The dad, both the sisters, the mom, and the cousin. The cousin is hard. Obviously, you can cheat, but I want to see who does it first, and I'll pin that comment. All right, guys, what is going on? Welcome back to I almost said Karima. Welcome back to BMG Drive, and welcome back to Weekly Mod Review. It's only Tuesday, and I already have like six mods to check out. Absolutely amazing. We are actually uh, breaking the law right now. Let me actually turn on my beacon. So if I do get pulled over, it's for a good cause, okay? It's for good. Don't worry about that. It's good for a good cause, people. Uh, we have a lot going on. Um, hopefully you guys stick around for the whole episode. We got some really interesting mods uh, today. I'm actually driving one of them right now. And also, if you could tell, the UI is a little different. Uh, I usually don't play around with... Oh, my butthole puckered. I usually don't play around with UI because I find it kind of annoying that like if I go into... Uh, let me just signal here. Uh, I find it kind of annoying if I go into multiplayer, it doesn't transfer through. Um, so hopefully if there's a way around that, let me know. Do I have to like activate the mod within my own, you know, region or whatever? Uh, let me know. Let me know if you guys have any uh, kind of, you know, experience with dealing with mods like that. Um, all right, so we are pulling up to the, uh, to the actual location that we're doing this. And before I get there, I'm gonna actually pull over, like legitimately pull over and just kind of show you guys this mod real quick. Now we are in the stand back go, so we can just kind of pull over right there. So let's actually backtrack to over here. This is the actual mod page, it kind of gives you an idea of what you can do. These things are completely customizable and I'll show you how to do that in just a second. This is an absolutely great mod. Um, I love it because the tachometer actually shows you everything you need to know. So I don't know if you guys noticed uh, when I was driving, um, you can kind of see literally everything that you need to see, all the important stuff. Let's go here. Let's go here in the apps. Let's going to add app. First thing we're going to see is the force induction. There's, there's three different types. Uh, doesn't matter which one you choose. You know, they're all going to show the force induction. And as you can see, if you right click on it, you can change unit and then left click or right click. You can change color, left click. You can change the unit going down a little bit more. There's going to be the tachometer. Um, and there's three different types and styles of those. And uh, same thing, uh, left click changes the unit, right click changes the color. So uh, pretty pretty, uh, pretty good customization as far as that goes. I'm gonna zoom in in editing, but um, as you can see, when I hit the brakes, the little red bar goes up. If I hit the gas, the green goes up. And I absolutely love that because I love knowing how much brake and gas I'm using instead of having that like UI that shows everything, which is nice to have in some cases. Uh, like a race or something uh, and then I have the steering wheel down there so I can see where my wheels at at all times uh, which is that's just stock beam and G stuff I have the navigation map on the right or on the left I'm sorry I absolutely love that but here are the two dials so you can see that you have your gears right uh, if I do signals they do that if I'm also accelerating too and uh, let's say See how it's telling me to upshift? So a little arrow starts flashing, telling me to upshift. That's actually pretty neat. Uh, let's turn, okay, it turned off. Parking brake, we'll turn on the uh, parking light. There it is, it'll stay on. Uh, if I turn high beams on, or lights, uh, green is low beam, blue is high beam. That's a really neat feature. So the red in the bottom is, uh, oh, shut the hell up. <laughs> I'm filming here, dude, chill. So the red at the bottom is my temperature gauge, and then the blue under it is the fuel gauge. So absolutely neat mod. As you can see here, uh, changing the color wise, you just hover your mouse over it and then right click will change the color. So there's a color and then there's a transparent version of that color. So you can do, uh, you know, orange and then you click it again. It's transparent, orange, red, so on and so forth. So I, I chose the baby blue. I think that looks really neat, the transparent one. But as you can see, it's in a weird, uh, you know, unit. I don't know what that unit is. Is that inch per? I don't know if you're gonna try. So you can do bar if you left click, uh, PSI, which we're gonna keep. And then same thing goes for here. So you can do kilometers, miles per second, and then miles per hour. Oh my gosh, okay, 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 okay. I'll go, I'll go. Jesus, you guys aren't even like moving though. But that's the tachometer map. There's someone still honking behind me, bro. 
<laughs> I absolutely love it. Um, I, I sometimes find that the UI can be a little, like, overwhelming, especially when it's, like, so big and stuff. So I, I like to make everything smaller. If you guys want to know what sizes I have everything, I can drop a comment down below. But we are here. Uh, supposedly, there's a car waiting for us that, that had a, a radiator bust. So let's look for that thing in our next mod. This next mod is actually going to be the Stambeko that we were in. Whoa. <laughs> this thing is absolutely amazing. I mean, this is like a Stambeko kind of upfit truck. And this is absolutely amazing. So your standard upfit, you'll hop out, right? There's controls on the side and you'll like lower it and raise it like a peasant. Uh, but no, not here. This this is absolutely amazing. So if you hit T and G, as you can see, they lower and, and raise deck. So G is going to lower the deck. And as you see, it, it, doesn't, it kind of follows the traditional deck style. Let me actually turn on the parking brake. Um, it, it kind of follows the traditional style here, but then it does something absolutely crazy. I mean, look at that, dude. It's literally like it's dropping the whole deck. That is absolutely amazing. Oh, I'm falling. Okay, well, <laughs> guess we're gonna need an ambulance, huh? Am I get, can I make it? Am I screwed? Am I, okay, this is just my life now, huh? Yay, we did it. That totally didn't happen. Uh, okay, well, I had a vehicle here, but I guess it, uh, I guess when I spawned traffic, it kind of just drove away. Should we dare tab into it and see where it went? I don't see it on the mini-map, so that's probably long gone. Oh, yeah, it, like, deleted. Huh. Well, that's awkward. Um, <laughs> I guess, uh, I guess pause for technical difficulties. Actually, real quick, before I do that, the Stambeko actually doesn't spawn like this. Um, it spawns in a very, like, bare-bone configuration. And I can actually show you guys that in just a second. Uh, but I definitely went in and kind of made my own and saved it as a config. So I'd have it for later if I ever use this mod, which I'm definitely going to do. I think I'm actually considering using it in career mode, even though it's kind of useless having a, a, a car hauler like this. I just think it's pretty neat. Uh, this is it right here. So as you can see, it's just a standard color. Uh, it has the intercooled engine. I don't know what the tachometer is doing. Hello? There it is. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, but it does the same thing. Oh, am I going to just fall to my death? <laughs> All right. Well, that's fun. Uh, we will be stress testing this uh, rollback, by the way. I I'm going to I'm gonna throw that some, some cars on it and see how it does. We'll probably even put a T-Series on here and see what the, uh, the chaos in that is. Uh, it is definitely doing it. So is this like a, a rescue vehicle now? <laughs> Put your car on the ramp. And then we can just bring it up. Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, well, maybe, maybe don't do that. Okay. Maybe don't do that. Can you lift up? Are you able to lift? Why are you going in reverse, brother? Why? Why the hell? All right. Whatever. Okay. We're just gonna, we're just gonna delete that. Oh my gosh. That is so weird. The car just appeared here. It was just hiding behind the thing the whole time. Guys, this is the Ibishu Claria? Am I saying that correctly? I hope I am. This thing is absolutely amazing. This is the track version, and uh, it has a little bit of cosmetic damage because obviously this one was uh, was needing to be towed, obviously. Uh, let's look at the configurations real quick before I drive off in this thing. This car is absolutely 100% well-built, and it's absolutely 100% free. There are so many other configurations. I absolutely love this thing. It kind of reminds me of the... Uh, the, the car that they use in Ghostbusters. I don't know what that was. Uh, but it has that like kind of body style. Let me know if this is a... Is this, is this strictly like a, a JDM car? Like strictly in Japan. This was like a thing where they had these big like... You know, family mobiles. Uh, I am in the race version. But there's so many other versions that we can look at. Um, the one we have right now has a fast... Well, okay. Well, <laughs> that doesn't help us. Uh, I want to say roughly like 300 horsepower. 300-ish. Um, 2.6 liter, very highly customizable. Um, this one obviously doesn't have a radiator, uh, as you can see. Has a tow hitch, that's an option. How about cargo? I love when when uh, modders add like load options. Load, okay, no. Uh, probably doesn't have cargo due to the roll cage. Maybe we can remove the roll cage. <coughs> So 
So now we can type load. No. Okay, yeah, no, nothing. Uh, yeah, this thing absolutely sounds amazing. What engine does this one have? This is probably like the fastest one you could get. Has a 2.6, uh, okay, inline six, inline six cylinder and the 2.4 inline six cylinder as well. Uh, let's see what the engine looks like. Oh, it is hot, right hand drive. Cool thing too, the dash, when you shift the gears, it actually, uh, it actually shifts. That's actually really neat. How about if we turn the lights on? Oh, I like that. And then those are high beams. No, that's really nice. <coughs> Okay, there's some lights down there. Does it does it turn on? And the door's open. Oh, look at that! Look at the sound. It sounds like an old car. Cause there's no door cards. I wonder if the other versions have, uh, you know, like an actual sound. <laughs> oh, the hood, the hood, the hood. Okay, let's pop in here. I'm gonna open it. I close it. What the hell? Bro. Oh, there's pins. That's unfortunate. <gasps> Alright, wow. Oh yeah, sure enough. This little little bad boy right there, dude. Sounds really good too. Okay, cool. Well let's load this thing up in the uh the low boy car hauler. Without breaking it, hopefully. Well, we did break the hood, but don't worry. Oh hey snowman. I, I didn't know you were right there. If you guys are enjoying the video, don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button, man. It helps me out absolutely tremendously. And uh, we're doing the giveaway, PC. Uh, remember that? Oh, I think I, I fluffed it. Uh, <clears throat> this is the last week for the giveaway, PC. So if you guys haven't put your submission... I just stalled it. Oh, great. Weird thing about this mod, I don't hear the engine starting. I don't... Is that just... Did you guys hear it? I'm wearing headphones and I didn't hear it. Let me just line this up a little bit better. This thing is absolutely massive. I put the, uh, I put a, I put a scintilla on here, and I thought it was, <laughs> the scintillas look big, but this thing is massive. Jesus. Okay. Uh, obviously, we can't really strap this down unless we have, like, the, the strap mod enabled from Butch, but let's just go at 0%. We'll lock it down to the, uh, the corners. And we'll pray that this doesn't fall off. Okay, well, let's <laughs> let's hop in the uh, the stand back oh, and we're gonna hit T and pray. Oh my gosh! I like to turn off the uh, parking brake so it lets the vehicle kind of roll back as it's putting it on, so it doesn't have to do so much work. It's a good tip for you. Okay, so far so good. This thing is also heavy as hell. Wow, that rear end is really struggling. Uh, but it's definitely doing it, dude. This thing is absolutely amazing. Oh, let's go, dude. W freaking stand back up. Am I on? Oh, I am. Okay. So, yeah, let's uh, let's just take this back to the garage, and then we can move on with our lives. Oh, absolutely beautiful, dude. Stand back is just so good. Such an underrated car, too. Like, yeah, it doesn't have that much power, but this thing can literally get... Th like, look at... Oh, gosh. Is that a thumbnail? Hold up. Is that a thumbnail? Right there, bro. Is that a thumbnail? Let's go. Or is that a burnt clutch? Which one is it, boys? You tell me. Alright, well, hopefully I captured the moment. <laughs> I'm hearing a lot of banging. I'm just making sure. This thing hasn't fallen off yet. Yeah, I'm just kind of letting it coast in second gear. It's doing pretty well. We're just going to take this to the uh, commercial garage. I think that's a, a good point to move on to our next mod. <laughs> Was that my bumper? <laughs> or my hood? Yeah, let's put this thing in high gear. Oh, shit. Oh. Oh. No. I'm riding dirty, so I ain't pulling over. I'll tell you that. Oh shit. <laughs> oh no. Uh damn. Okay, well will it start? Absolute legend, dude. Oh we can make it. We're making it home, bro. I don't need a tow truck. Hell yeah. It's like career mode all over again. Oh shit, no! Oh man. 
Oh, that owner's gonna be pissed. Oh, I still got it. <laughs> it's still attached, dude. <laughs> okay, well, I guess we can unnode. You've been busted. Wait, what? I didn't even know there was cops out. Real quick before we move on to the next one, let's uh let's kind of do a, a load test on this thing. So I'm thinking like What's a pretty heavy vehicle? The that that little the Ibishu that we just did was actually kind of heavy. So I think that would be like a light D series. I think we're gonna throw a T series on it. Um Should we do a short one or a long one? I don't know. We'll do a, we'll do a short one. We'll see if we can get the whole thing on there. Uh, Cause if we can do that, that's just uh, you can pretty much do anything else. I have high hopes for this one, but uh, we will see. Okay, let's put the e-brake on. Let's tab over to our vehicle. Let's turn the ramps down. We'll delete this one to kind of help out with the lag. All right, let's start lining ourselves up. I don't have high hopes for this thing picking this whole thing up. But we can definitely see, man. This thing uh, has surprised me in the past. Oh. <laughs> okay, I've maxed out on the front. So, just throw it in neutral, huh? Shall we lock the... F hmm... Okay, we're gonna. I got an idea. We're gonna put the e brakes on. I'm not gonna no grab the front tires, okay? Just hear me out. I'm gonna put this in neutral, and I'm gonna just let it slide back on its own. Nope. Stop. Stop. Put in low gear. Turn everything on. Nothing. Okay. Oh no, how did that happen? Oh weird, okay. Uh <laughs> okay, T Okay, with some help, I think we can do this. The trick is if the bed is going to be able to kind of wedge it, you know, from the bottom. Uh that's that's in there. Uh you know, in there. <laughs> Oh no! Okay, it looks like the T-Series wheels... Oh, I think I just heard the pump break. Oh... <laughs> okay, that one, that one didn't work. That one definitely didn't. Didn't work. Okay, let's try. Let's try another T series. All right, we'll try it. We'll try a. Uh, we'll try an upfit. Okay, so far so good, as sketchy as this is, the problem is that when, it, when the full weight's on, what's it going to do? Oh, I think we got lift off. Okay, looks like we're somewhat in there. Uh, let's go to the T-Series, let's turn off the E-brake. Okay, we're full rosies now. I think that if this thing does it, dude, I'm going to be pretty impressed. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, dude. Okay. Obviously, the approach could have been done a little bit better. Uh, am I sliding off? I think I am. But have no fear. I got this. I am master driver, dude. I can do this. Oh yeah, dude. I'm I'm in there. This is uh this is a win. I'm having issues turning. Let's open these diffs. It's probably the fact that all the weights in there. I don't think it's the diffs. Uh oh no, we're good. We're good. I thought that was a run. Nah, dude. This thing is uh this thing's handling it. Um, hundred percent. Nine out of ten. 
eight out of ten. Eight, definitely eight out of ten. <laughs> I have no steering. Oh my gosh. Why do I have no steering? Is it because it's not touching the ground? What the shit? Okay, we'll just go second gear. Send it. This is fine. This is, oh, this is not fine. This is not fine. Oh, come on. Turn left, turn left. All right. Oh, gosh. Oh. Come on, dude. I just need that wheel. Just that wheel to... There it is, there it is, there it is. We're, we're, we're going fast now, boys. With the T-Series. It's got the tow along. All right, not bad, not bad, not bad. We could do better, but not bad. Yes, this thing is an absolute unit, dude. Let's let's definitely move on. All right, since we only kind of really only touched base on the Bishu Clara, I just wanted to give it a quick look. This is kind of like the medium tier level. This is a really nice vehicle, man. <laughs> this thing has no business looking this good. It is the next day, by the way. If you guys noticed, I was wearing a different black shirt. Uh, it is still right-hand drive. I don't think there's a left-hand drive configuration. Uh, oh there is there is oh there definitely is okay let's see if we can find that one um this is the kind of slower one uh kind of medium tier you know not really that fast this thing is a giant boat i wonder if there's a uh i don't think there would be but uh, what if there's like a wood trim one? <laughs> oh, there's even a police one dude that's actually awesome how about the bottom of the bottom there's even a derby one we should actually do a derby. That would actually be really fun. This thing kind of looks like a hearse. I haven't seen I haven't seen any this wheel's nice too. I haven't seen any of the uh left hand drive ones. It just drives so you really feel this vehicle too, like um really plants it to the ground the body roll is minimum oh, dude i suck dude i just suck <laughs> yeah the body roll is very minimum but it's definitely a, a good drive you know there's no power steering there's no option for it so if you are on wheel it is a little bit of a a struggle but it definitely it definitely drives well i think it's uh maybe an eight out of ten in the drive department absolutely beautiful car man this thing is absolutely amazing all right the next one we're looking at is actually pretty simple but it, it it does add a really neat feature so if we come in here vehicle config and we're gonna look up hubs so right now we have the four lug hubs and then we come down here and we can get the drop four lugs so this gives you the ability to lower your vehicle without changing the suspension geometry which is pretty neat, uh, given that, you know, if, if you do stance your vehicle out, you're going to be <laughs> bouncing around like crazy. So once you've installed the hubs on your vehicle, you can come over here to the, the geometry under suspension. And this is where it, it kind of doesn't make sense, but this when you go up, it actually lowers the vehicle. So let's just go full, full dropped hub. Um, definitely really unrealistic, but, but it definitely does the job. So uh, it, this works for only the Covette right now. This is only for the Covette. Uh, I'm sure eventually the modder will have this supported for all the other vehicles. Uh, but yeah, look, see, I'm, I'm moving. Uh, rear wheels aren't even touching the ground, which is, uh, which is pretty neat. Front wheels are touching. That's good. So if, if, you were to, if you were pretty good with this, you could probably mess around with cameras and stuff uh, and, and, you know, get that wheel tucked in there. But this will definitely give you a little bit more customizability uh, while, uh, you know, keeping the, the geometry of the, of the suspension pretty normal. So let me play around with this a little more. Let me see if I can get this to a size where the wheel will touch the ground on the rear. There it is. Wow. That was pretty easy. <laughs> uh, okay. Yes, yeah, so I am touching, but I am, I'm clipping just a little bit, but it's not the end of the world, but that front definitely is, uh, is ripper renewed and actually too a cool idea would be we could use the uh the the new stambeco trailer and see let's just do 1.5 all the way around or 0.15 okay so the front definitely needs a smaller tire because i am definitely clipping through the fender uh there's two solutions to this so we can either remove the fender or get new tires or just come up a little bit you know Let's just come up a little bit. We'll do, we'll do a 
0.125. Better. Much better. I got a little bit of, you know, a little bit of stuff going on in the front. Okay, cool. Well, this thing is absolutely slammed. Let's pull out our Stambeco that we reviewed the first mod. And uh, let's see, where's my bad boy at? There it is, dude. Oh, I love this thing so much. This thing is so nice. I am definitely downloading it in career mode. And uh, if I have to build it, I will. Like, I'll just buy a regular Stambeco and pay whatever price I need to. That's how much I love this mod. It actually makes me happy because I sold the H series in the career mode series. It's a lot of series. <laughs> So uh, it's pretty neat that I can get this now. Uh, all right, so let's uh, let's see how this goes. Just put it in drive for first gear. This thing is super low too. Yeah, we'll just slowly get on there. May have to go f the rear. Oh no, dude, all day, all day, man. Absolutely amazing. Best freaking mod ever, dude. Okay, well. All right, we're just gonna hit T. Try not to fling. No. Try to fling the car. Uh, was I in neutral? I sure was. Rookie mistake, dude. Okay, let's put the parking brake on. We'll put in gear. All right, let's try again. I would say the one thing I would like in this is a little bit of lean, linear -lacy, linear -lacy? How do you say that word? Like, instead of just hit, clicking the buttons once or twice, if I could hold it. I don't know. I guess that would be kind of bad, though. Like... I could hold it, I can kind of like control how it does the thing, but I don't know if I would really like that. I think I kind of like it how it is. There it is, dude. It's uh, it's set. This thing is absolutely lit. And that's what a nice Covette, lowered Covette would look like with keeping your geometry, your suspension geometry the same. I'm surprised this thing is staying on. I'm, I'm being pretty, like, vicious with it. All right, guys. So the next mod is actually another one of those just, like, simple mods. Uh, kind of goofy. I don't really understand it. I think I've seen this before, but not as an exhaust. So the next mod we're looking at is going to be the chicken exhaust for the BX. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Uh, this thing's actually pretty neat um, at face value. Uh, obviously, you have a chicken exhaust now, so it sounds a little bit different. Let me give you a nice... It even spots flames, bro. <laughs> it's for the, It's only for the, the, the 2.0 liter engine. Um, I'm pretty sure if I did the 2.4, it wouldn't work. Oh, no, it works. Oh, wait, it still works. Okay, cool. Never mind, I guess. You got Maybe you got updated? Uh... So here's the actual pretty neat thing too. Um, you can actually adjust the the after fire amount. So if you really want this thing to spit flames, you can do that. So yeah, that thing's just spitting flames like crazy, bro. Gnarly. And then this is the after fire time. So after you're letting off the gas, how long it's gonna spit fire for? So look, uh, you can see the green right here. So if I let go, okay, now it's making me look bad. <laughs> and then also too, you can add the smoke. So, black smoke, which, uh, I guess, diesel gang, I don't know. <laughs> it does, it, it is supposed to sound a little bit different. I don't actually have the headphones in, so I can't really tell. Let me turn up my volume. Yeah, okay, so yeah, it, it's supposed to, it sounds like the, the chicken, the, you know, the chicken noise. But yeah, it's uh, another pretty neat mod. <laughs> Could you imagine, like, the boys just drifting this? All you hear is this chicken... Guys, I'm actually I'm actually really good at drifting now too. Look, I'm learning. Oh, that was actually awful. That was garbage. I'm really bad at drifting. I haven't learned anything. Uh, I think my problem is I don't have a clutch, and I've I've just I've been so, uh, what is it? Um, what's the word I'm looking for? I've been so, I got so many bad habits from drifting all-wheel drive, uh, cause I can drift a, a Chariot all day. But it's a rear wheel drive vehicle. I can't. Can't. I can't, brother. Uh uh. I simply cannot. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not. I'm pretty bad, man. So, yeah, I think, I think that's my issue. Um, I want to blame everything but a skill issue. That's, that's kind of like what I'm trying to do. So, I can blame everything around me. Like, at first, I blamed 
that I didn't have a handbrake, right? And so then I made a handbrake with my remote. You guys saw that in the last video. Uh, and then I was like, shoot, I still can't drift. So I'm like, <laughs> well, now it's because I don't have a clutch. <laughs> yeah, no, okay, I'm pretty bad. Okay, the clutch does help. I, I reassigned the brake as my clutch pedal, and uh, I think that's actually that's actually doing me a little bit of a favor. Uh, all right, I, I definitely got to mess around with this, but um, good idea. Oh yeah, look at that. You can definitely. Uh, obviously, I spun out, but I think the the momentum is there. I think that's what I'm needing. Huh. Hmm. Interesting. All right. Yeah. No. I. I just. I just suck. That's all that is. I just I just suck. Alright, the next car we're looking at is going to be the Burnside Special freaking S-Tune Revenge, dude. Oh my gosh, this thing looks so good, dude. If you guys don't remember, last episode we checked out the S-Tune Autobello. Uh, uh, what's it called? Restro Mod? Is that what they're calling it? Where they like kind of revamp these vehicles. So basically what this mod does is it adds this vehicle... Oh, why don't why don't have brakes? Oh, that's right. I just did the clutch. I'm like, I wanted to show you guys the brake lights, but uh, it's not working. So give me one second. All right, but you guys, if, if you guys don't remember, this is the kind of like revamp version, the the resto mod of the Burnside. So we checked out the Auto Bello last episode, uh, and I absolutely fell in love with it. And it had this feature that absolutely blew my mind. So right now, this is a V8 engine, right? As you can hear. Actually, you can't even tell that's a V8. This thing sounds so good. Uh, no boost, right? We do have we do have a forced induction because the, the meter is there, but there's no boost right now, and that's because of my ESC level. So let's start turning the dial, right? Because I have it set up on dial. All right, so now we are in sport mode. Oh, you can hear the boost, the supercharger. That's absolutely amazing, dude. Our brakes. Look at those brake lights, dude. Look at that bar. Holy crap. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go into active. Oh my God, snarl mode is like the pipes all open. Oh, dude, that sounds so freaking good, bro. The force feedback is fighting me a lot. Oh, it's a seven gear transmission. Let's look on the interior. So this, given this that this is a resto mod, the interior is redone as well. So you'll have like your infotainment system. As you can see, there's a navigation there. Uh, usually they have like Apple CarPlay or whatever the beam equivalent is to that. So let's just downshift. Oh yeah, really good. So you got to remember, this thing is from the 50s. And uh, when you resto mod something like this, it, it becomes pretty dangerous. So <laughs> you will wrap this thing around a pole if you're not careful. Oh, dude, this thing drives so good. I love the, how these old cars drive. I drove the Auto Bello um, on stream for the first time, really. Like, just actually drove it. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh, this thing had as well. Holy crap, dude. So, I don't know if it was one of the vehicles, but I did, I did find a bug. I don't think it was... I think it was this one, um, which I thought was pretty funny. If I broke really hard, the two front wheels would just snap off. Um, I'm sure that's just something that can be easily fixed, but I just thought it was funny. So let me try to, oh God. Okay. Let me try to, let me try to replicate that. Hold up. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Where'd the wheels go? Yeah. It just like breaks the front axle. I don't know what it is. Is it the weight of the engine you think? Um, and also to the signals on the rear, just flash both, but on the, on the front, it works good. Sounds so good. Oh, okay. 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 You got the power, bro? What's good? Absolutely love this mod, dude. Uh, I think this mod in the Autobello is one that we, uh, I'm going to talk to Pio. This Pio is going to do a, a refresh of the, of the server because there's a lot of broken mods. Messing everybody's game. Oh my god, this thing is so fat. Only running 16 pounds of boost. Uh, let's go ESC modes. Huh? Stealth mode is like, like Tesla. <laughs> what? I can't even. Hello. 
I don't know if I like that. <laughs> that is scary. There it is. Okay, that is good though, like if you're talking, you just quiet it down a bit, you know, turn off the boost. Absolutely amazing, dude. This mod is just oh, so crazy. Oh, there's a wheel. Bye! Have a good time. Oh, the other one broke too. Alright, let's try to just save it gracefully. <laughs> Oh, that's so funny, dude. All right, there is, there is a, a, a handful of configurations. I think a lot more than the uh, the Autobello. Uh, there's just, I think, I don't really know exactly what the difference is here. I think it's just honestly looks. So there's different rims. All oh, these have the huge, wait, what? All will drive. Oh, there's VIN numbers, dude. That's crazy. The guy went through a lot of freaking work. This has all will drive. Did the one I was driving? Oh, it does. <gasps> That's why it handled like that. Active exhaust. This particular version is custom made for YouTuber Beanbot. Hold up. Hold the phone. Wait, is there an actor plays one? What's going on here? Simulator Adventures? All right. Well, I'm slightly offended. Not just playing. <laughs> Could you imagine? <laughs> oh, man. Could you imagine like people just get offended like that because they don't see their car here? Uh, this is the prestigious Elite S2 to date. This is a W16, bro. Holy crap. Okay, so we got the V12s, W16, V10, uh, and then the V8. All right, we'll definitely just check them all out. So we already did the V8. Uh, let's do the V10. So are these all all-wheel drive? I didn't know it was all-wheel drive, dude. That's crazy. Comment down below. So, like, oh, these have the ESBR wheels, so I definitely want to use that one. Uh, comment down below. What what platform, what what frame did you think they took this from? So, like, it's all-wheel drive, right? They could put a shit ton of freaking engines in it, like a W16 and a V12. Let's actually look at this V12. Oh, it looks so good. <laughs> it looks so good. The blinkers work here? No, they're still a little buggy. It's fine. It looks it looks amazing on the front. Uh, how does one? Oh, like that. Okay, that rear door, dude. Oh, it's so good, bro. No business. No business, man. Holy mother! There is just like half a millimeter of space in that thing. You can't even. You couldn't breathe in there if you really wanted to. <laughs> oh, thanks. Thanks for closing my head, brother. Uh, dude, let's let's actually rip this thing. So now that it's all-wheel drive, I have a whole new respect for it. Let's see if I can do a little slidey boys, because you know I I used to be at my prime. Okay, at my prime, I was the all-wheel drive champion. Oh, let's not blow this shit up. <laughs> all right, all right, coming in at the turn, e-brake. Now oh, this thing just it just handles so differently. I don't know. Just me making excuses again, though. Okay. All right, uh, that's cool. So no, it's definitely a user error. Uh, I can't, I just can't drive to save my life. Uh, this does have the same, you know, situation again. So uh, we'll go into sport. Got 16 pounds of boost still. Oh shoot, I just broke something. So the all-wheel drive system doesn't really feel like it's all-wheel driving. Is that just me? Like I'm getting no. Ah, shit. Did I, like, not choose the all the drive one? Oh, I don't know, dude. This thing rips. That's for freaking sure, dude. This thing is a ripper. Ripper, ripper. Oh, I hit something. Oh, this thing is... Oh, shit. I literally hit something. <laughs> this thing is absolutely slammed, though. It literally will. Alright, I am giving my car catastrophic engine failure. Let's look at these dips. Let's see what's going on. Okay, open front differential. That's the problem in the race. All right. Well, we fixed that problem. Uh, all right. Let's uh, let's see what all wheel drive. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. No. 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 That's it. That's what we were missing. Um. Oh, shoot, dude, this is dangerous, bro. I, you don't ever give me this much horsepower. I will kill you, bro. So I'm not, I'm not getting front traction again. Oh, there it is, there it is. 
But see, now it's not. It should always be spinning. Oh my god. Uh, did I break it? Did I break some? Nine times out of ten. Okay, so it spins right there. And then is it broken? I just. Is this just so much horsepower and steady? Absolutely amazing, though, dude. This thing is crazy. I just. Alright, so the automatic transmission kind of messes me up. <laughs> I like how I blame everything but myself. Uh, let's let's look at the all-wheel drive system. Race all-wheel drive. Uh, I mean, that's probably what we would want, right? Uh, compared to everything else. Did I lock the diffs? Did I did I hit save? Did I hit apply? Just to make sure. Yes, I did. Okay. Alright, it's definitely user error then. Everything on my end. Or at least on the... There it is, there it is. No, it's just me being stupid. Oh, shit. Ooh. Steering's already messed up. Nice. Gotta love it. I don't know. I think I, I think it's just best. I'm confused. I am confusion, brother. Uh, which one was that? Was that the V12 that we're in? Looks like it is. I think no, we were in the V10, huh? Uh, let's just look at. Let's look at. Uh, uh, they're all automatic, right? Okay. Let's just look at. Mm, I don't know. I guess I guess here is just preference, huh? I kind of like Simulator Adventures one. This, the baby blue looks pretty good. Or I guess dark blue. I don't know. Whatever. Man. Oh, that, v, that V16 sounds crazy. Hold up. Do I got race tires on? I do, I think. Hey, look. Oh. <laughs> what did I do? <laughs> oh, there's my dash, my gauge cluster. Okay. Oh gosh, it's gonna break my wrist. All right, does the does the wheel thing still do it to these? No, I think it was just literally that one that I drove. Absolutely amazing mod though. Huge shout out to this creator. Uh, he left a comment in the last video suggesting that he has a few more vehicles. And uh, I had forgotten about it. And then, like, literally when I'm making this video, uh, I think this one just came out. This one just uploaded uh, at the time of this recording in the repo. Uh, so probably the wheel thing and the, and the blinkers are probably fixed. Probably fixed. Oh, look, the left. So the left doesn't even work. Or the right. Does it work up front, though? Sure does, dude. This thing looks so good. Look at that thing. Oh, brakes are not working either. <laughs> Alrighty, well that's gonna be it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed watching, comment down below what you guys want to see. What mod was your favorite? I think the Stan Becker one is definitely a uh, top five. This one is pretty good too, man. These these rest are mods. I wonder what he's gonna do next. He's done the Autobello. He's done the Burnside, right? What have I been calling this car? I hope I haven't been calling it something stupid and everybody's roasting me in the comments. Uh, I guess he still has the Barstool, the Moonhawk, um, if he's keeping that, like, kind of re reviving the old ones type of vibe, the, the LaGrain, uh, the LaGrain's kind of like 2000s, right? What would that, um, yeah, I, I guess the LaGrain is, like, more 2000s, maybe, like, late 90s? Where does it, where does it tell you the date? Oh, no, actually, 84s, Okay. Oh, how about the facelift? Okay, 93. Yeah. That sounds about right. Alright. Um, but yeah, comment down below what you guys think. What you guys want to see. And uh, thank you so much for watching, dude. I do appreciate it. Oh, the blue book. Oh, dude. <laughs> the blue book, man. The blue book.